Little England was the big winner at the Greek Oscars, the annual Hellenic Film Academy Awards. Directed by acclaimed filmmaker Pantelis Vulgaris, the film led the nominations with 13 gongs, winning six awards including Best Picture, Cinematography, Costume Design and Production Design. Set on the Greek island of Andros in the 1930s and 40s, Little England is a family saga about the lives of two sisters, united and divided by a terrible secret, their love for the same man. It's a story of passion, family and loss. The big challenge we face in serving our expensive and difficult art is the battle that's waged in the box office. Our first reward was winning this battle. The awards my team received tonight was a very generous gesture from the Hellenic Film Academy. My Enemy Within by Yorgos Tsemberopoulos was the other big winner with three awards for editing, screenplay and best director. Already a favorite on the film festival circuit, the film tells the story of an intellectual forced to reevaluate his assumptions when violence invades his home and shakes his family to the core. I really want to thank the Hellenic Film Academy, which I strongly support. 200 people from the Greek film industry vote every year for these awards. Such recognition by all these professionals is very important to me. It's a huge moral boost. Cora Carvuni won the Best Actress Award for her performance in September. A film about loneliness, it tells the story of Anna, who lives alone with her dog and is forced to reach out to her neighbors when her pet dies. The film gave me a hard time because I didn't have many lines. I play a very silent character. My co-stars were mainly kids and dogs. These are very unpredictable factors in a film. But although it was a very challenging and tiring process, I remember every moment of September with love. After Venice, Themis Panu picked up his second gong for best actor for his role in Miss Violence by Alexandros Avranas, who also won the Silver Lion in Venice for best director. It's the story of an apparently average Greek family that comes under scrutiny after 11-year-old Angeliki commits suicide on her birthday. It's a unique experience, says the actor about his double award. I didn't believe it could happen, not even in my wildest dreams. I still can't believe it. Costa Gavras won an honorary award for his lifetime achievement. The Franco-Greek filmmaker is best known for his films with overt political themes like the famous thriller Z. The problem with awards is that you don't expect them. After you've received an award, you don't think about it anymore. What matters to me is when I go back to Greece, I'm surrounded by the people and things of my youth. They make me the person I am today. <laughs> 2013 was a very good year for the Greek film industry, with many films traveling abroad to international festivals and receiving major awards. Half of these movies were made by a new wave of young Greek directors. It's hoped 2014 will be an even better year for Greek cinema.